Rumors are swirling that NCIS, one of the hottest shows on television for two decades, might be losing a member of its team. There's been a great deal of speculation that Special Agent Torres, played by Wilmer Valderrama, might be leaving the NCIS cast. So stay tuned and don't go away, because fans want to know if Wilmer Valderrama is leaving NCIS in 2022, plus other NCIS news. First up, what's the deal? Is NCIS really losing Special Agent Torres? You're about to find out. If you're a fan of the show and Special Agent Torres, you'll be happy to know that the reports of his departure from the series are completely false and purely rumor and conjecture. And it turns out that Valderrama will certainly be coming back for season 20 of the CBS drama. In a recent interview, Valderrama said, As of now, we are in conversations, and I hope to definitely not only come back, but to be there for my coast Stars. I love NCIS and I love what they've given me as a home and I feel like my time at NCIS is not over yet. So how did all of the rumors begin? The rumors started after Valderrama posted about an exciting new opportunity coming up to play Zorro in a live action version of the series, which is currently in development. Valderrama further explained that it is one of the greatest and most exciting moments of his career because ever since he was a child, he wanted to be the masked hero known as Zorro. For Valderrama, the the idea of partnering up with Disney to help bring Zorro to life in an adventurous and romantic way is everything he ever dreamed of. Valderrama is extremely proud to be able to give a new generation, including his own daughter, Nakano Oceana Valderrama, who is 14 months, an on-screen hero with strong morals to look up to. Next up, what's the other reason for rumors that Special Agent Taurus might be resigning from NCIS? Let's take a look. In one particular episode, Special Agent Taurus went to a very dark place mentally and emotionally, and people didn't know if he would ever recover. It was right around this time that rumors began to swirl that he would be resigning from NCIS. And if there's one thing we know about today's digital and viral social media world, it's that rumors spread at supersonic speeds. When Doris first showed up at the DC offices of NCIS, he was sort of a loner who excelled at doing things on his own. However, the team made him feel accepted, and eventually he became part of the family. All was going well, at least for a while, but then Bishop, played by Emily Wickersham, left the team, and then Gibbs, played by Mark Harmon, left as well. Valderrama opened up about losing his teammates and said, I think that when you think about abandonment and someone who has had those issues, the easiest thing for them to do is come back to what they know, and that is to be the lone wolf again. And if you watch the show, it's pretty clear that Special Agent Taurus's lone wolf style had a habit of getting him into trouble. We've seen Taurus struggle with over drinking and he's essentially a tormented soul and given what we know about Taurus it's likely that he has more bumps on the road ahead before he gets to a place of inner peace up next what do we know about special agent Taurus's backstory let's find out special agent Taurus's backstory is actually pretty tragic Taurus was abandoned by his father at a young age and while many fatherless sons have a tendency to travel down the wrong path Taurus managed to keep his head straight and make his way into a promising career in law enforcement. There was a cheerful moment in Taurus's storyline when his father came back into his life, and for a second, it looked like Taurus and his father might reconcile. But then, in typical fashion, his father deserted him for a second time. This was certainly an emotional blow to Taurus, and he subsequently turned to Gibbs as a father figure. Gibbs was always there for Taurus when his father abandoned him, but whatever personal challenges and setbacks Taurus faces, eventually he will overcome those obstacles. Valderrama said, In television, we tend to break our characters and have tragic endings. I definitely would love to have a run of something where I can have a character be an example to people. If you want to get your NCIS on, it airs Monday nights at 9 p.m. ET and PT on CBS. One of the most recent episodes focused almost entirely on Torres and centered around him going on the hunt for an infamous arms dealer named Raimundo Diaz, played by actor Joseph Melendez. When Diaz is released, from prison, his body count starts to rise, and Torres must face the consequences of an undercover operation he worked on years earlier. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're bringing you the latest on NCIS, the hottest and longest running show on CBS. Next up, despite an official announcement of a 20th season, why are fans still not satisfied? You're about to find out. For the most part, fans are happy that NCIS is officially returning for season 20, but some fans are definitely not satisfied. The series is pressing forward with Sean Murray leading the way 
as McGee, but there's something that's still missing in the hearts of fans, and his name is Special Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs. NCIS fans are still holding out hope that Gibbs will make a surprise return, and until that happens, they won't be happy. Their passion for Gibbs is more than understandable, but time will tell if they'll actually get what they so desperately want. When confirmation of Season 20 came on March 31st, 2022, CBS released an image of the cast and characters, and actor Mark Harmon, who plays Gibbs, was noticeably absent, and this left a bad taste in the mouths of some fans. One Twitter follower said, Mark's photo not in 20? Attached to the comment was a series of sad face emojis. Clearly, some fans are displeased with Harmon's departure. Another disappointed follower said, no Mark Harmon? Harmon currently has a role as an executive producer on the show, so he is still very much involved, only now he's behind the scenes and working in a different capacity. Other fans hope the best for Sean Murray, who's now at the helm of the team and praise his fellow NCIS co-stars for being able to adapt to the big changes the show has gone through in the past few seasons. Mark left NCIS at the beginning of season 19 in October of 2021. Up next, will there be an upcoming NCIS reunion? Let's take a look. An NCIS reunion is in the works. In an upcoming episode of CBS's series Bull, former NCIS actor Sasha Alexander is directing an episode of Bull and will reunite with her former NCIS co-star Michael Weatherly. Sasha Alexander and Michael Weatherly starred together on NCIS from season one until Alexander left the show as a series regular after season two. She appeared throughout the following seasons with her last appearance as Caitlin Todd in season 12. Now Alexander and Weatherly are reuniting again, but behind the camera this time. Alexander directed an upcoming episode of Bull for the show's final season and the April 28th episode titled Opening Up is the third episode of a TV series that she's directed. Alexander directed an episode of Rizzoli and Isles in 2016 and You last year. Alexander announced her Bull directing job while filming last month, but at the time, not much was known about the episode. NCIS cast members have reunited before and it's always nice to see stars come together for a specific project. Bull's finale will come at the end of next month, so fans don't have much time left with Jason Bull. NCIS fans are now hoping that Weatherly will return to the long-running procedural as Anthony DiNozzo. Weatherly departed NCIS in 2016, but he has remained close with his co-stars ever since. Finally, who is the special guest star coming to NCIS? An important announcement was just made that Sean Murray's daughter will guest star in episode 19 of season 19, which will air on Monday, May 2nd. K. Ryan Murray is going to be appearing in the role of a teenager partygoer by the name of Tegan Fields as a member of the infamous Brat Pack. In the episode, NCIS investigates a ring of clever teenage partygoers when a string of break-ins takes place at Marine Base Quantico. While working the case, Special Agent McGee forms a bond with one of the teens, Tegan Fields. But what makes this season so interesting is that fathers and daughters seem to be a pretty major theme from start to finish. Jimmy Palmer's daughter was a part of the story earlier in the season, and we also happen to see Leon Vance's daughter training to be an NCIS agent. It's really great to see these characters cast members bringing their own children on board and exposing them to the film production process. It's an invaluable opportunity for these young actors to get an in-depth look at the work that goes into making a television series come to life from script to screen. We have no doubt that Kay Ryan Murray will do a great job in her role as Tegan Fields, and we look forward to seeing her make an appearance on the show. And it's got to be a very proud moment for Sean Murray. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching.